exactly seven years since the Sun and Moon era started when Base Set was released. And during those last seven years, the box price has slowly climbed up to a value of almost $300. So today I'm going to be breaking the seal in one of my boxes to see if it's actually worth it and if we could pull any of these really nice cards. But with a likely terrible pull rate, is it really going to be worth breaking the seal on this $300 booster box of Pokemon cards? Only one way to find out. All right, guys, so here it is, Sun and Moon Base Set. It's been a minute since we've opened this up. Um, yeah, and it's been actually seven years since this was released. Your adventure in a new region starts now. It's kind of crazy. This is seven years old now. As you can see on the bottom there, it says 2017 release day. So with that being said, let's crack the seal in this box. And I do want to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away the pulls that we get from this box to one subscriber. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. And there we have it, Sun and Moon base set. The nostalgia of this set is starting to kick in, honestly, because I, I don't even know the last time we opened a box of this stuff. It's, it's really been a long time. So, um, yeah, the price on Sun and Moon Base Set has actually stayed pretty low for a long time. And then it just started over the last year going up quite a bit. Um, I think it went from maybe like $200 up to $300 over the last year. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's probably the least expensive set from the Sun and Moon era. We got Sir Skit and we got a Crabominal Non-Hollow. I think the least expensive is probably like Crimson Invasion, I want to say. Maybe in Guardians Rising. I would say... Between these three, the those other two are probably going to be a little bit cheaper. This one's it still has some nice pulls that you could get. Like if we could get the pulls, is the thing though. I don't know how the point's going to be. Snubble, Carvana. Ooh, we got a Solgaleo GX. Nice start. Honestly, yeah, I, I don't know because Sun and Moon's weird. Sometimes the pull rates better than other sets. We have opened a bunch where the points have been like terrible. Like I'm talking maybe like six to eight pulls in an entire booster box. Uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll see how we do with this one. We'll see if we can go back in time a little bit. Maybe pull that Lily full art card or one of those rainbow evolutions would be cool. It'd be pretty crazy if we could. Cloister and a cloister. But yeah, like the Lily card is almost $60 just raw. And then, uh, like the Umbreon card is about $35. The Espeon's like $21. So you got to pull <laughs> a bunch of stuff or just get luck, really lucky. And like I'm talking about if you want to get your $300 back. Uh, or get really lucky and get some like gem mint 10 quality big hitters in there and grade them But it's pretty it's it's pretty tough even at $300. I think on this one Litten, but let's see if we can do it Rowlet it Caterpie reverse into the Alolan Doug trio I remember when this card dropped in this Pokemon and everybody was like freaking out. Okay. They were like, yeah We're gonna do Doug trios with wigs now and that was a thing and yeah good times. Okay Let's start it off here with that fairy energy timer ball. Come on. We got the Cosmog. Let's see if we can hit something. Something. Oh, actually, there's a Lapras Rainbow card in here that I forgot about. It would be really cool to get. I like Lapras Gen 1 Pokemon action. We got four from the back on this one. All right, this is going to be the one where we get something. Tour Cat. Poison Barb. Come on. Eevee into Psyduck into a Harion. Oh, I'm starting to get those Sun and Moon pull rate vibes again. Going back to a time where if you guys didn't open up Pokemon cards back then, when, uh, yeah, the pulls were not so good a lot of the times. And we were opening up a lot, a lot, a lot of packs without getting hits. It was kind of weird, honestly. Personally, I think it was definitely too low of a pull rate to have a set. Like, it's a good balance to try to have, like, a big set, a good chase, but also be able to get pulls and stuff like that. I think they're doing a good job now on that. But, yeah, there was times when... We would just be chilling, opening up so many packs, and like <laughs> the amount of pulls was so low. We got our boy Ratata, and then nothing again. Like we are literally eight packs in. We got this thing, and then we do have a regular G hacks, but like eight packs. It's tough, I guess. Okay, let me know how many pulls you think we're gonna get in this box. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think. It's hard, cause there's good artworks, but it's really hard to open up to justify opening up stuff like this. When you don't get that much stuff. Oh, hey, just as I was speaking, we got a really nice GX, the Espeon. All right, I mean, it's it, it's still it's, it's a regular GX. Um, there's still the full art version that we could get, which would be cool. And then the um the rainbow obviously would be sick, but we'll take what we can get, honestly, from Sun and Moon. Let's keep rolling here. We got that water energy. Um, all right, let's go. Cosmog, Litten, Psyduck. Lillipop into the non-hollow. All right, so we got a couple pulls, a couple GXs, no full arts, no secret rares, 
it's tough out here at Sun and Moon Days. Honestly, I do like miss some of these really cool sets from the Sun and Moon era. Like, like not all of them, but there's a decent amount that I miss. But I really don't miss the pull rates on most of them. And we did a lot of streams back then too, um, opening up tons of packs, which made me kind of feel like I was going even crazier trying to open up stuff and try to find cards that were just not like you just couldn't get packs to hit. Um, but let's see if we can maybe do decent here. We got a regular hollow. You're definitely not guaranteed like a rainbow or a gold card or anything like that out of a box. Um, Team Skull Grunt Full Art is actually a really cool card too. It's only it goes for a couple dollars, I think. Um, but that's another cool card we can get out of here. If we can get any full arts or secret rares today, please. No. Whew. Okay. Oh, I saw the code card on that one. So we got the green and white with the black border code card. Which means there should be a hollow better. I'm really hoping this is better than a hollow in here. We gotta get some action going here. Grand Bull, uh, Sharpedo, regular hollow. Times are tough on these Sun and Moon sets. I mean, unless you're open to hit fates up, then let me get that. Cause then we'll be pulling some good stuff uh, with a decent pull rate. <laughs> we need the subset really in Sun and Moon sets to help a lot. Butterfree, oh, it's a cool card. All right, we're trying here. We're actually almost halfway through this box with two regular GXs. Um, this just is nothing like the Sword and Shield era, or at least later in the Sword and Shield era, uh, or like the current era of Pokemon, Scarlet and Violet. It's just, ugh. I wanted to open up some more Sun and Moon sets. You have seen me open them up before, and we try to go for it, and it just ends in disaster most of the time. Uh, it's, is it, it's a cool generation, especially if you start getting into, like, tag team cards and stuff like that. But if you're trying to get the pulls... We got another GX though. Lunala, still just regular GXs as our top tier so far. Alrighty, we have our next pack up here. And then we're gonna be halfway through this box with three GXs. Ah, okay, come on. Corsula, Cutie Fly, Snabble, Gold Duck, and it was Cineroar. All right, we're gonna start on the right side of the box. Hopefully it's gonna be better over on this right side. Oh no, it's a green kill card. We might as well just go straight through this one. And just take our loss. Cloyster. Ugh. So each one of these packs, if it's from a booster box, is really going for about $8 if you're getting it straight from a box. So that's kind of tough, honestly. Uh, it's very tough. <laughs> it basically doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Even at $300. Ooh, nice. We got our first floor. It's about time, dude. I've been sitting here opening up all these packs, just losing my mind. We got a Soul Galio. And honestly, as cool as this card is, it's still only literally like a $3 card, I think. I mean, like I'll show you right here, the card that we literally just pulled. Uh, like the last one sold literally like the last few days. $3.30, $2.24, $2.24, it's near mint. So yeah, that's like $8 a pack. That's pretty pretty not too good of an idea. Um, okay, let's keep going though. Let's see if we can do better here. Come on, Sun and Moon Base. Prove them wrong. Spinda. Give me that full art lily. Okay, not to panic, but I am panicking a little bit. Um, I almost did a Lost Thunder Booster box today. I almost did it, and I was like, the box is $600 or $700, and it's a sun and moon pull rate. And it's just like, okay, another GX though. Honestly, we really could use anything we can get at this point. But it's just like, I, I could have, I, I could just, it's <laughs> 50 cents. I mean, we could have bought like, like 10 of these or 15 of these for just one pack of this considering opening up certain sets especially ones that get older a lot of times it really doesn't make sense um but i'm here for your entertainment you can watch me open up this box and do terrible and uh you don't have to worry about it for yourself i'll still give all the pulls away so there's still five pulls lined up so far um but let's keep it going here see if we can at least get some secret rare action going save us a little bit come on evie spiro Oh, we got our little hollow mushroom. Okay. And honestly, there's only been like three hollows, I think. Even the hollows, they were like, don't even throw hollows in. Not even going to throw those in. Or four hollows so far. Four, four hollows so far. Oh, no. All right. We'll go through it. Oh. Oh, it's the Doug Trio just to taunt us again. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go straight through this one, too. I got a bad feeling. Oh, it's an Incineroar. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're coming down to it. Some handful of packs remaining here. 
it's kind of going the way that I thought it would go with Sun and Moon, honestly. And uh, if you, I mean, there's a possibility I could open a Lost Thunder box. Let me know in the comment section if we should try it, but I feel like it's <laughs> probably a bad idea. Oh, uh, Lantern Double. As cool as the cards are on a lot of these Sun and Moon sets, obviously, you're better off just buying the cards. I mean, realistically, if you wanted to... <laughs> Like, I could have just, <laughs> I should have did a whole other part of this video where I was like, okay, here's what you could do instead. Oh, whoa, it's upside down. It's upside down. Okay. And it's gold. The Rotom decks. Yeah, it's still like uh, two, two, three dollars. Yeah, it's, that's, that's brutal. I could have did another part of this video where it's like, spend $300 and see if we could probably complete the whole set. <laughs> Probably just complete the whole set by just buying all the cards, which is the craziest part about all this. Is that you could just for three okay for three hundred? Could you buy the whole set? Probably. Yeah, you could. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. You could. Uh, and not only that, you'd probably have like money left over to to spare, like a hundred dollars left over. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Okay. Well, it makes sense, sort of. But sealed product is still tough to get basically the older something gets the uh less of it's out there because more people open it up and like the more expensive it usually gets but uh it gets to the point where it's more about the experience and just being able to open up and have fun and because like, it's still a completely different experience than buying the cards shelter shelter ariyama well you're gonna take a hit most of the time you're gonna take a big hit and not as in getting like a good pull like, you're going to be losing out on some money if you're buying this box for $300. With our little science experiment. Going exactly how's like, how I thought it would. Okay. Uh, we got four, I think, more packs remaining here. We did get a secret rare. But you're basically looking for some of the top secret rares. And that one was not exactly what I wanted to get. Shelter Masquerade. Sadly... Only six pulls today, not including hollows. One seeker rare, one full art, and four GXs. That's crazy. And that's how it was back in the day. It would not go over well nowadays with Pokemon cards. Like, imagine spending like $80 on this box. I don't know how much this was when it was released because Pokemon prices were a little bit different. Like $90, like $80, I don't know, $90. Imagine spending that on this box. You get home. Like, all right, I want to open up this booster box. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, open it up, and you get six pulls. <laughs> like, that's crazy. And here we go. And only one, one of them is a full art. The others are just GXs. This is our last pack. Can we get last pack magic? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> just six pulls. Three hundred dollars. We probably got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We got like $10 of cards pulled. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. All right. Even back at retail price, it was just like a disaster. Oh, my God. That's bad. All right, guys. That is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. And if you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.